much fun. Extremely, yeah. especially yeah. when you get the crowd in it, you know. How important was it, you know, to get out to, you know, six, eight points right away and kind of be able to get that? Kind of buzz off a little bit, you know? Yeah, it was, I think it was nice just because we haven't, it's been like a little while since we played, so it's like, it was good to get the dust off quick, but it wasn't like, it didn't, we didn't go down from it. Usually, like, you'll start like that and go down from the start, so it was good to get up, give us a little cushion we had just about most of the way. We're, we're so comfortable here, especially at home, and comfortable with each other at the end of the year. We, we kind of knew, I'll speak for myself, I knew my team was going to come out and play the way we did, like, there was no question about it. Just all our shots were falling and shoot around and practices from previous uh, in the week. So I kind of knew this was going to happen, honestly. If you, if anybody came to our games two years ago, it was like a ghost town in there. Yeah. So really? Just, just yeah. Right. So yeah. just being able no for, just for people to That's just, crazy. you know, come in and support. It just shows us that, you know, we're taking the program in the right, right direction and we're doing the right things. And people trust in, in this year's team and in the future. As I told our guys at halftime, you got outplayed in the first half. You know, we were lucky, we made some shots, we turned it over, we missed free throws, you got outplayed, and you're still down, th you're still up three. Uh, but at the same time, if you walk out there and try to play cool against these guys, there's no cool in those guys. And our guys came out in the second half, um, took a couple punches, got down one, but we ultimately we talked about response, and our response was great. And when you have a guy like Andre Spite who you know, can basically take over a game like that and demoralize the other team. I mean, that's that I've seen it time and time again this year where he can make such tough shots that appears to be tough shots for probably everybody else except for him, where the other, the other guy guard him just looks over at the bench like, what am I supposed to do, coach? And I think eventually that just, you know, that takes its toll on the other team. Uh, we feel like we're playing our best basketball. We've been saying that even since conference, um, even at the conference when we first decided to play in this. The coaches even even said, you go watch on film, our play in March looks totally different than our play any other time of the year. Um, you know, I just, that was in my, that was my motivation, you know, for, for what UNC basketball would be, to be in an environment like that where, you know, it's, that's what college basketball is all about. That's why those kids, you know, that's why they, they work as hard as they do, and that's why they sacrifice as much as they do, is to have opportunities to play in front of a crowd like that and to perform. And um, I just can't say how proud of those guys for the last two years. It hasn't been easy, um, but they believed, my coaching staff believed that, you know, we could get this program, and, and, and regardless of what the circumstances were, that ultimately it wasn't going to be an excuse and we were going to find a way to win and we we're going to find a way to win big and um, in order to do that you have to have everybody on board you have to have administration you got to have you know your coaching staff you got to have your trainer your strength coach your academic people um, but ultimately it comes down to players and when you got really really good players like we do um, they perform and those guys came out tonight and performed against a very good Sam Houston State team.